Welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Today is part two of our nursery design challenge. Mom and I are competing to see who can design the cutest nursery. If you missed part one, make sure to check it out and don't forget to leave your vote for your favorite in the comments. Okay, mom's ready to craft, so let's get started. First cut a 14 by 12 and a half piece of foam core board for the floor. I am using a vinyl flooring for my wood floor. You can find it at a building supply store. Measure and cut the first piece to size. Snap off the end and peel back the paper backing and stick it to your floor. For the last piece, I laid it on the floor and drew around it, cut it out, and stick it in place. Now I'm going to cut out the back wall. Start by measuring 14 inches for the bottom. Then I'm going to go up a ways and measure another 14 inches. Then I'm going to come back and measure 11 inches for the sides. Next, I'm going to get the height. I am going to mark 16 inches and then going in and marking four and a half inches. Now I'm going to make a line up so I can get the correct four and a half inches on the other side. Then I'm going to mark another 16 inches. Then going from the line, I am going to mark four and a half inches, and then I'm going to make the top line. Then I'm going to come back and draw a line from my 11 inch to 16 inch I just marked. Do the same on the other side. To make the window, I am going up two inches in the middle. Then I'm going in seven inches to find the center. From the center mark, I am going to mark one and three fourths on each side of the center mark. Now that I got the bottom done, I am going to bring my ruler up 11 inches and mark it. Do the same on the other side. Make sure it's three and a half inches on the top. Then cut it out and make two. I use tacky glue to glue them together. For the wall, I cut four 12 and a half by 11, then use my tacky glue to glue the sides together. To paint the walls, I use Rust-Oleum Premium Alter Matte Spray Paint. I started with a light coat and came back later and gave a heavy coat and didn't have any warping. Next, we're going to take white strips of paper and place them around the inside of the window frame. Just put glue on the frame and place your strips in place. To make the glass for the window, we are using recycled plastic from a Barbie box. To make the glass, I'm going to use my paper cutter and cut the plastic. Line it up at the bottom and cut it. Pull it out and snap it. Now do the same for the long side. This is a great way to cut your plastic. If you don't have a paper cutter, 
You can use your scissors. Now I'm going to glue around the edge, then place your panel on. For the window, you will need our printable from our blog at poppyseedmini.blogspot.com to make the arch and the crown molding. Cut out the arch and the crown molding. You will also need two four and a half by half inch, one five by half inch, one three and a half by fourth inch, two nine inch by half inch. You will also need strips of white paper. Cover all the outer sides to give it a nice finish. I only do it to the sides you will see. Now take your nine inch strip and glue to each side. Next glue your five inch piece for the shelf. Then take the four and a half inch piece and glue one under the shelf and one on top. Take the window top piece and glue it in. Next take the three and a half by a fourth of an inch and glue it in the center. Now glue on the smallest piece of crown molding. Make sure you center it. Then the middle piece and then the larger piece. To make the corner crown molding, cut out three pieces for each side and glue together. To make the bead ornament, take a toothpick, add glue. You will need four round beads from large to small. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. Then cut the end and paint it. Cut a strip the size to cover the foam core board. You need to cover the long side and the bottom, then clip off the extra and let dry. I use a drill bit to drill my hole. That makes it easier to put the toothpick in. First make a center mark and then take your drill bit and drill in. Then clip back your toothpick to a half an inch. Then glue it in. Now glue your corner crown molding to your wall. Now glue the back wall to the floor. Then glue each side on. Then add 3 fourths inch strips of foam core board for the baseboards. Now I'm going to show you how to make the roof panel. Measuring 12 and a half inches on one side, then measuring six and three fourths down on the bottom, then measure eight and a half on the other side. Now connect your 12 and a half mark with your eight and a half mark. Then cut out. Now I'm going to angle cut the top of each of the roof panels. Take your ruler for a guide and place it a fourth of an inch from the edge. Then cut at an angle. Glue on both of your panels. To make your crown molding for the back wall, use our download for the size and shape for the cuts. You will need strips of a fourth of three fourth of an inch and a fourth inch foam core board. Place them on your pattern and cut. Glue 
the fourth inch piece to your three and a fourth inch piece. and cut out. Then glue in. Now we're going to cut four strips, two, eleven and three fourths by three fourths, and two, eleven and three fourths by a fourth inch. We are going to cut each piece at an angle. Then we are going to cover with white paper. Then glue the fourth of an inch piece onto the three fourths inch piece. Then glue to your wall. Then trim the end of the angle. Now I am going to add the trim on the outside walls. I used a half inch strip of foam core board and covered it with paper. For the ceiling, we are going to cut one eight and a fourth by five and a fourth and one eight inch by five inch piece of foam core board. Take the eight and a fourth inch piece and we're going to angle cut both sides. On the same piece, measure in four and a half inches, then two and a half. This is where I'm going to place the light. Mark it, turn it over, and mark it again. I picked up this decorative round piece to add for a ceiling crown molding. Center it around your mark and then glue it down. Now I'm going to use a Christmas ornament that I painted white and added glitter. Cut a piece of wire about two and a half inches. Thread it through the hole in the ornament and then push it through the hole in the ceiling. Then spread the wire out hot glue and clip off the excess wire. Now take the other piece of ceiling board and glue it on top of the other board. Now place your ceiling on. Now we're going to make three pieces 
to cover up the edges. I used a half an inch strip and covered it with white paper. You will need to cut each end at an angle to make it fit. Do the sides first and then the top. To make the crib, get the printables from our blog. You will need about six cereal boxes. Cut out your patterns and draw around and cut out. I use a metal ruler and a knife to make sure my lines are straight. I use my first one for a pattern to cut the rest. Once I get them all cut out, I clamp them together and use an emery board to sand the sides down. I do the same for the side panels. Use a glue stick and glue three together. You should have four side panels and two front panels. Now take your two back panels and glue together. Then glue the trim piece on. Glue three, glue three to make the back front panel and three more for the front. Now we're going to add the skinny sticks. You will need to cut a lot of half inch pieces. I use one piece as a guide to mark my stick. This is a good time to use your skinny sticks that are not perfect. After you cut them, sand one end for a nice finish. Start by gluing a long skinny stick to the inside. Now add one spacer with the sanded side in to the bottom. Make sure it is flat with the inside edge. Then add one on the top. This one will be covered and not show. Then add the next long skinny stick and cut any wood showing. Add one more spacer and more long skinny sticks. You can also mark your skinny sticks and cut them before you glue them in. Now add a skinny stick on each side, making sure they're right on the outer edge. For the sides, glue your first stick on the outside of the panel, then glue another long stick next to it. It will show a little bit on the other side. Don't worry about it. Now add your spacers and sticks. Then glue on the top panel. Now take your front and back panels and measure up from the bottom two inches. Then glue a skinny stick on the top of the line. Do the same on the back. Now we're going to take our side panels and cover the top with a strip of cereal box. Set the strip on the top and measure it, then cut. Take your hot glue and glue it on. Take the front panel and glue a strip on, leaving a little over the front side. I use an egg carton for this part. For the back panel, I'm using three different size strips. I start with the biggest first. Glue it on, making sure you leave some on both ends and that it is flat on the back. Cut the ends so that they look the same. Then take the middle size piece and glue it on leaving it a little bit shorter than the first piece. Take the last one and do the same. To put the sides on, add hot glue and stick them on. Now glue one side of the side panel and place your front panel on and then come back and glue the other side on. Now add a strip to finish the sides. To make the bottom trim, cut two strips, 
six and a half by three fourths, two six and a fourth by a half an inch, and two six inch by a fourth inch cereal box. Now starting with the biggest piece, glue on the middle piece, and then the smallest. Then glue to the bottom of your front panel. For the mattress base, cut three five and five eighths by three and one fourth inch cereal box. Glue the three together for the base. Then cut one more for the mattress. Take a piece of foam and trace around the cardboard and cut out. Then glue, to, then glue the two together. Take a piece of fabric and cut it nine inches by six. Then hot glue your fabric to the mattress. Next, you're going to paint your crib. You can spray paint it, use acrylic paint or chalk paint. Last, we are going to make this cute little shelf. You will need one jumbo craft stick, one regular craft stick, some toothpicks, a wooden cutout, and some scrap cardstock. First, cut the end of the jumbo stick off. Now cut three and a half inch piece off the jumbo craft stick. Then take the end of the jumbo craft stick and use it to cut the other end of the stick. This is going to be the end of your shelf. Now use the first wooden panel to cut the regular craft stick. Now take your regular craft stick and mark it a half inch, then cut off Then take your panel from your jumbo craft stick. Using your ruler, find the center. Make the marks a half an inch apart. Now take a small drill bit and drill a hole in each spot. Then sand it down. Take the small piece and glue it on. Then glue the sides on. Then take the wooden cutout and cut it in half. Then glue it to the back. Take the toothpicks and cut them to a half inch. Now add glue to the holes and stick the toothpicks in. Let dry. Then cut the points of the toothpicks off. Now take a small hole punch and cut out dots. Add glue to the pegs and add your dots. Let dry, then paint. Now let's decorate. Now it's up to you to let us know which nursery was your favorite. If you didn't see part one, you can click the link on the screen. Thanks for watching and have fun crafting.